For exceptional leadership, courage, and persistence in the face of opposition resulting in positive change for animals, Dr. Alice DeGroot is the recipient of the 2011 Mary Jane Garcia Champion for Animals Milagro Award. By age four, Dr. DeGroot knew she wanted to become a veterinarian, but this profession was not receptive to women in the early 1950s. Well, when I first decided to become a veterinarian, I was laughed at being a woman and wanting to become a veterinarian. Dr. DeGroote persisted and finally realized her dream, becoming the third woman to get a veterinary degree from UC Davis. Dr. DeGroote became a pioneer in veterinary medicine, known for her successful treatment of colic in horses, conducting valuable research on the reasons for owner surrender of animals, promoting reward-based training, and establishing behavior programs to facilitate animal adoptions. Since moving to Albuquerque in the 1980s, Dr. DeGroot has been an outspoken and tireless advocate for New Mexico's animals. She testified at uh, Sangre de Cristo Animal Protection's hearings at the legislature back in 1989. She was uh, one of our professionals that talked about the, the cruel practice of pound seizure, which involves uh, animal shelters selling animals to research labs. As the Bernalillo County veterinarian, Dr. DeGroot conducted cruelty investigations, trained animal control officers, and fought for the ban on horse tripping. Twenty years ago, it was very hard to convince people to prosecute for animal cruelty, and so she was always there to talk scientifically about what an animal went through, the kind of pain and suffering. Dr. DeGroote also rescued Irish wolfhounds, providing foster care and rehoming more than 150 dogs. Her most beloved wolfhound, named Quill, often worked at her side. Her lifetime commitment to the compassionate treatment of animals inspires those around her. One of the things that I've most appreciated about Alice uh, over the years is uh, what I've learned from her about individual animals. She studies them uh, in a way uh, to appreciate their beauty and, and I would suspect in every single animal she sees, she's capable of gleaning that just the beauty and, and magic and wonder of every single individual.